All right, check this out. Someone asked me about this. Google Ads Search Max. This is a, an article from Search Engine Land. I'll have the URL in the description below. This is a new feature that combines search term matching and text and URL optimization to increase, increase reach and drive higher conversions. This was seen, I guess, in an account. There's a guy on LinkedIn. I believe Adrian's his name. I guess I already had his LinkedIn pulled up. I am not logged into mine. I do not like LinkedIn, but he kind of posted about this. It got a little buzz. So anyways, someone asked me about it. The reality is, and a guy named Mike Ryan, who I've, I've heard him talk, respect him a lot, head of e-commerce over at Smarter E-commerce, seems like a very smart guy. He mentioned that uh, something called smart matching used to be seen back in the day. This would be like actual keyword match types, basically. And so instead of using a broad an exact or a phrase match, you're, you're, you're using smart matching, or at least that, that came into play on match types at some point since 2021, I guess. Um, and this is what search max looks to be. If you look at this image closely, this is obviously in a different language, but you see broad match and exact and et cetera. And then you see search max. So this doesn't look like a campaign type, like an actual, you go build a search max campaign. It looks more to be like a match type of targeting. Now, here's the thing. I have not seen this in any of my accounts. If this smart matching has been popping up on accounts randomly since 2021, I've never seen it. And I've seen a lot of accounts since 2021. Uh, we have a portfolio of about 100 clients currently today. So this is not something I've actually ever seen. I wouldn't be surprised if Google comes out with a search max. Uh, so someone was trying to get my like opinion on that. I do believe in time, yes, Google is more than likely going to want to uh, get away from like keywords, especially as AI develops and you know that continues to influence how people search, you know, how even Google search uh, is being used then and, and, and how they're using and baking in Gemini now into that. So I do believe in the future we could see where keywords go away and it's more intent-based targeting. It'd be sad because I, I that just allows, unfortunately, Google to milk advertisers more in my opinion. We've seen that with like Performance Max for sure. They feed you a lot of ad inventory that there's no way if you were manually building standard shopping and standard display remarketing campaigns and standard search campaigns that you would be showing on a bunch of this garbage inventory. But they black boxed it, hit it, and grew their revenue. So this is going to obviously be an increased revenue play for Google. But here's the thing, you know, a lot of people get like sort of doomy and gloomy uh, in this. They see some Google doing something and everyone freaks out and like the world's gonna end or Google's no longer is what it is. I'm not seeing this in accounts right now. This to me is a rumor right now. And it, it allegedly did show up in an account here in the screenshot. I don't think anyone's lying about that, but I haven't heard anything from Google's mouth in regards to it. I wouldn't be surprised if they tried launching something like this, but you know, any of the other search sort of, uh, you know, smart search campaigns, if any of you have ever tested those, you're going to, you're going to know how terrible those are. So I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's going to have a major impact, but you know, this could indicate Kate, this is the future that Google's headed towards, you know, just like Performance Max, they want to, you know, really dial in Search Max now and uh, move away from keywords entirely and move more into intent based targeting. So could that happen? Maybe. Could this be a sign? Maybe. But for now, this is a rumor. I'm not seeing it in any accounts. If any of you are, comment below. I would love to know. And if you've somehow have been able to test it, I would love to know what it really is and what it's like. Uh, again, I haven't seen anything. This article was January uh, 20th when this came out. For now, I'm not thinking too deep into it. I don't really think it's a big concern, but it could be, it could shed some light into what Google's trying to move to in the future.